All right, I just wanna show you guys two mistakes DIY guys are making trying to install smart switches and failing. Uh, it's very, very common. I have seen this many, many times for the past two years, uh, troubleshooting, helping uh, with many, many service calls where people try to install it themselves and they fail to do so and they basically followed all the instructions, but for some reason, switch is not working. So in many cases, people get confused with two gang, three gang, or four gang, or they have basically multiple circuits, multiple switches, and they try to replace one or two or all of them. So here's the most, very most common scenario. So let me remove this switch. I'm gonna show you what's happening inside of the wiring. And in your case, you will have a three-way switch, single pole switch, it doesn't matter actually. So what a typical switch will have, it will have basically black wires or red wires wired to the switch. A lot of people get this part right, but when it comes to connecting the neutral wire, usually neutral wire in any junction box will be going to the light switch will be um, wire knotted like this, or in new homes, new constructions, if they have used this type of a connector, it will be connected like this. And what a lot of you are doing is, yes, if you have a three, four gang switch, you will have two separate circuits. You might have a single circuit where you will have all the neutral wires connected like this, or you will have them connected like this. So in this situation, I've seen a lot of people, what they do is they just remove this wire nut, put this wire nut back like this on two wires, and they use this wire, uh, white neutral right here. Let's assume this is a smart switch, which will have your neutral wire that you need to connect, and they will just wire it just like this. And of course they complain that, hey, I have wired everything correctly, follow the instructions, um, neutral to neutral, line to line, and my switch is not working, can you help with me? So the mistake here is basically, you cannot separate these neutral wires because it's all one circuit. By doing this, what you're doing wrong here is you are basically interrupting this circuit. So what you should have instead done, you should have put this switch into the, if you have three wires, okay, it's easy. You can use same wire nut and put it, connect it like this if you are working on one circuit. Uh, but there are times you will have this situation. And in this case, with this push and connectors, same thing. What people do, they just pull out one of the neutral wires. Let's assume that this thing is in the box and you are just working with this connection right here right now. What people do, they separate one neutral. And again, let's assume this is a smart switch and they connect this wire just like this by interrupting the circuit and sometimes people are lucky to pull out the line neutral from the line and it will work but everything else will not work because this has to feed the rest of the switches so instead what you should do is you will need basically let's say one of these you have four neutral wires in your box right and you are trying to connect this switch into the into this connection. Uh, the only way you're gonna do it is you will have to get another piece of wire, pigtail, and you're gonna insert it into this connector. And then what you're gonna do is you will connect your switch neutral and the neutral from this connection, and you're gonna connect these all three together with a wire nut, or if you have a connector, that's the only way you will 
make this circuit work because you're not interrupting the circuit. You're not interrupting the neutral wires that are all in one circuit. They should all be connected. But for some reason, a lot of people having hard time with this. But that's the basically simple solution to get a one pigtail, which will connect that interrupted circuit that you pulled out of from this connector initially, connect it back, connect the switch, and connect uh, all three together. So you have uh, basically uninterrupted circuit, so everything works together. And there are times you will have three, four switches. So you have to pay attention when you pull out the outlets, all three, let's say, you will have two different circuits. Pay attention where the neutral is coming from. If the neutral, let's say, there are two neutrals connected here together, and you have two neutrals connected together on the other side, and there are two separate wire netted. So you have to make sure that each switch goes to its own neutral wire. So that's the solution. That's the very, very common mistake a lot of people making, trying to connect smart switches and making them work. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. Happy to help. Thanks for watching.